Hi everyone, Manuela Marcajani from Isomer Skin Care. Today we're going to talk about anti-aging. Anti-aging skin care, anti-aging as a concept, what does it mean? And, you know, is it just a marketing term or does it have some kind of substance to it? Is there something there? Well, I want to say there's something there because what anti-aging means, first of all, if you look in a dictionary, and I'm sure if you look up anti-aging, it probably says something that prevents aging or something that reduces or gets rid of the look of something that's old or looking old, right? So it's, it's right of the word, anti-aging, right? Against aging. And it's not to mean that we are against aging. I don't think that you take it literally. I think you take it as a concept of trying to make things look more youthful or fresher or in a better state or healthier or not withered, right? So preventing that look of aging. So this is where we get into, is it a real thing or is it a marketing thing? So to me, what does anti-aging skincare mean or what does anti-aging mean? Anti-aging is actually something to me is very positive because it's actually looking at how we age, what happens as we age, and responding and preparing for that, right? So when we're young and we have a lot of collagen and elastin, we look great. We don't think about aging, right? But as we start to mature, we notice our body changes, our skin texture changes, our coloration can change as well, our hydration changes. And these are all signs of aging because it's signs of maturing. And because we are alive and we interact with the environment, different climates, different diets, different things that we do, we end up wearing, if you will, or being a representative of all of those different experiences. So when we're talking about anti-aging, we're talking about things that are starting to change. So things get drier, so anti-aging could be things that hydrate. Things get pigmented, you get sun damage, you get sunburn, um, you freckling, discoloration, pregnancy mass, hormonal changes. All of those things that, if you think of your skin as, uh, you know, like a white t-shirt, you know, you get this white t-shirt, you get a white shirt and it looks really, really great, right? But then the first thing you do, I know the first thing I do is when I wear white, is I always order pizza or spaghetti, I don't know why, with red sauce. And then what happens? I end up wearing it, right? And you end up with a mark. Well, I always think about that's how your skin is with sun damage, right? It's no longer even or clean looking. So you get those pigment stains. So anti-aging is also about evening out the skin tone, removing a lot of the stains that happen to us because of the environment, because of our hormones, because of stress, right? Another thing about anti-aging is wrinkles. And what is wrinkles? Wrinkles is an absence of collagen. And what is collagen? Collagen is the most abundant protein of our skin. And what really is our skin? Our skin is our fabric. So just like that favorite t-shirt or shirt, when you first buy it, when you're young, and when you first buy that shirt, it looks fresh and the weave is perfect, right? And if you keep wearing it over and over and over again and you have the same repeated facial movements or repeated body movements on the shirt, you'll notice that you wear and tear certain areas of that fabric. And maybe you get a rip, maybe you get a tear, maybe you stretch it. These are all things that are happening to our skin. And we tend to toss that stuff out and buy a new, <laughs> buy a new shirt every season. We can't buy a new skin every season. That's why we have anti-aging skincare. In this case, this is skincare, for example, for wrinkles that deals with collagen, or skincare that deals with pigmentation, or skincare that deals with elasticity, or skincare that deals with hydration, hormonal changes. You know, when you, when you go through menopause or pregnancy and your hormones change, your skin color, texture, tone, reactivity, all of it changes. This is what is meant by anti-aging. So although a lot of people say, well, I'm pro-aging and you know, I, I love the way I look and I love the guy I'm getting older and all that. It's all the same. We're all on the same side. We're not fighting. We're not trying to be 20 when we're 50. We're trying to be 50 with fresh fabric, clean fabric, pressed and hot, you know, 
coutured the right way, you know, taken care of the right way. And this is what I believe anti-aging really is all about. It's about the quality, the texture, the functionality, the, the, the performance of our covering, which is our skin, and utilizing skincare that enhances it. I am a big believer in what we call age progression. So many, many, many years ago at Eisenberg's Laboratories, when we would go on television and people would use our skincare and they would use our skincare for a few years. They would say, I wish I had a picture of myself five years ago or 10 years ago because I can't imagine what I would have looked like hadn't I been using your skincare, right? And so, you know, it dawned on us, well, why don't we start tracking, you know, how people age and what they look like. So we know how, what aging looks like. There's age progression that it takes you, uh, you know, from a certain age all the way to another age. And you can actually age yourself every 10 or 15 years and see what you're going to look like, right? And while how they can do this is because scientists know as you age, you know, in your 20s, you're different than in your 30s, and you're different than your 40s, you're different than your 50s, certain things shift in your body, in your metabolism, your fat disposition, a lot of the makeup that you have inside, the enzymes, all of these things change, right? So as they're changing, and a lot of them denature or break down, you start to see these physical signs of aging. So we know what the road looks like. And so part of anti-aging is saying, okay, I know what trip you're going on, I know what the environment technically is going to be, so we want to pack and be prepared for that trip. We want to have skin care that's going to be appropriate during those different times of our age and stage in life. So anti-aging is kind of one of those things about being prepared, having a plan, and really embracing where you are, being present in the moment where you are. So the skincare you use in your 20s is not going to be the same skincare you use in your 40s. You may feel like you're 20, you may feel like you're 60, but if your skin, you know, you use it according to the stage that you're in and the needs that it has. So that's what anti-aging skincare is all about. Hope you enjoyed this conversation on anti-aging. I look forward to your questions and comments. And if you want to do age progression, analysis let's see if you know give me a give us a call and uh, we'll see if we can uh, figure out what stage and age your skin is at talk to you soon